بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب العالمین وصل اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلا علی وصحبہ وسلم اما بار ایو الحبت فی اللہ as we know a lot of the fitna that we face as a community as an ummah in fact and more specifically with some of the fitna that we face between Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah and in our various durus or sittings we've already covered treaties by some of the ulama of Ahlul Sunnah in this time those ulama who strive to adhere to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they strive to follow and adhere to the madhab of the Salaf of this Ummah and they strive to unite the hearts of Ahlul Sunnah Wal Jama'ah to unite the hearts of the Shabab because the Shabab the Shabab of Muslimin and may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala guide us all and help us all to be unkhair the shabab often through their zeal and want for practicing kitab Allah wa sunnah to rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the madhab of the salaf with regards to ahl bid'ah and how to deal with ahl bid'ah they often attempt to apply that to their brothers and if they see a mistake from their brothers and sisters from Ahl Sunnah then they will rush to make a ruling upon them so Ahabatifillah we've already talked countless times about some of the statements of some of the major scholars of this time and the classical scholars like Shaykh Al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah with regards to this and in this time Shaykh uh, Salim bin uh, Fouzan Hafizallahu Ta'ala and those who before them those before them those ulama Rabbaniyun who laid down the foundation the foundation of the Salaf of this Ummah about how to deal with one another's mistakes that we don't rush to declare anyone an innovator but in fact it's with dalil it has to be with hujja wa barhan Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says had to barhanakum in kuntum sadiqeen bring your tr bring the uh, evidence if you are truthful so if you're being truthful you have to have dalil so we don't accept from anyone they say so and so is a mubtadi'a or sheikh so and so is off it and he's a mubtadi'a without dalil it has to be with dalil dalil مستند إلى كتاب الله وسنة الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم and the فهم the سلف this ummah حبت في الله I wanted to very briefly in a couple of sittings go over some of the advice to the youth of أهل السنة by Sheikh Sultan Al Eid حفظ الله تعالى one of the مشايخ from أهل السنة in Riyadh and Allah يبارك فيك to the brothers who translated this and made it accessible to us and this is just more حث على خير وحث على الصلح حث you know it, it's an encouragement from the ulama so because the people don't want to listen to uh, students of knowledge they don't want to listen to unfortunately du'at they don't want to listen to just somebody who uh, has something to offer them even if it's based on the truth or it is the truth people don't want to hear that so at least if they hear it from the ulama maybe they will in fact take it that the ulama have given us advice They've given advice to not be quick and hasty in these matters. And also not to rush to make, uh, declare one another to be innovators and your brothers and sisters from Ahlul Sunnah to not attack them in their honor. Sheikh Sultan Al Eid Hafidullah Ta'ala said, From that also is something which I also indicated before, which is linked to being merciful, is to forgive and pardon. If your Sunni brother makes a mistake, then you have to pardon and forgive him. You make mistakes and your brothers make mistakes. If the brothers always manifest harshness, boycotting, and abandoning for everything that occurs, then who will remain with you, Akhi? Many people are like this in that there are those who have harshness and do not correctly estimate matters in error. So it is upon you to pardon and forgive. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabi al-kareem, خذ العفو 
والأمر بالمع وأمر بالعرف وأعرض عن الجاهلين. Allah subhanahu wa taala says في كتابه الكريم in سورة الأعراف show forgiveness, enjoin what is good, and turn away from the ignorant. أحبت في الله if we only practice that, if we turned away from those ignorant, those people who want to blame and curse and attack others, and from the people of Ahl al-Bid'ah and Hizbiya, who attack Ahl al-Sunnah, if we turned away from the Jahileen, from them, and we practiced enjoining that which is good, and that we were merciful with one another, we would be on Khair Azim. The Shaykh then said, Allah Ta'ala, some of them said, grant forgiveness as much as you can in regards to people's characters. It is not possible for the people to always be as you want, how you want. A man came and grabbed the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by his collar and said, O oh Muhammad, give me the money that I lent to you for Allah. Due to this man pulling on the robe, from Najran that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was wearing, it bruised the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's neck. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam smiled and instructed to give him some of the money that was owed. This is how the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was. So think of this Ahabatifillah, a man grabbing in, in the, the robe of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and actually bruising him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam pardoned the man and told the sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een to give this man some of the money that was owed to him because the man had a haq but he, he went beyond the haq so this shows us to be forgiven to be forgiving ahabita fillah not that we just say that someone has mistakes and we leave their mistakes that's not what we're saying Let's make sure that this, this is understood. This is not what the ulama are saying. This is not what Sheikh Sultan is saying. But it's letting us know that we should be pardoning, forgiving, forgiving and especially with Ahlul Sunnah. Especially Ahlul Sunnah. As Sheikh Abdul Masin al Abad, al Lama, Muhaddith, said, Ahlul Sunnah be Ahlul Sunnah. Ahlul Sunnah is gentle with Ahlul Sunnah. This is, how they, this is their way. Have a method of a salaf. The Shaykh then said, Hafiz Allah Ta'ala, Thus errors will happen. However, by Allah, our Sunni brother, even if he errs, we love him. We love him even though he commits an error. Also safeguarding the Dao of Ahlul Sunnah. And this is the Dao of all of us. And Ahlul Sunnah has to honor. Ahlul Sunnah has to honor. Except with this da'wah and supporting it and spreading it amongst people and conveying it to the servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the reputation of the da'wah and of the most important issues which is connected to this is that there is ta'awin, ta'awin amongst brothers. Wataraham and also showing mer mercy wherein they praise each other, thank each other, and cooperate amongst themselves. And this is in accordance with the statement of Allah Azza wa Jal where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said fi kitab al-kareem wa ta'awana ala birr wa taqwa wa la ta'awana ala al-ithmi wa ala ala al-ithmi wa al-udwan wa taqwa Allah inna Allah shadeel al-iqab Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem cooperate in piety and righteousness and do not cooperate in sin and transgression and fear Allah indeed Allah is severe in penalty or torment Ahabat fillah having gentleness as the ulama have said and some other fantastic books in Arabic which also emphasize this is for example one of the more recent treaties that have come out is the book by Sheikh Muhammad al-Imam Hafizullah Ta'ala one of the mashayikh of Ahlul Sunnah in Marcus Dara Hadith in Ma'bar in Ma'bar and the Shaykh has a fantastic book entitled Al-Ibana so if you want additional insight and benefit 
then go to that book and benefit from Sheikh Abdul Masin al Abad, Al Lama, Al Muhaddith, his book, Rifkin Ahl Sunnah Bil Ahl Sunnah. And benefit from Shaykhana, Shaykh Ibrahim Rahayli, Hafidullah Ta'ala, his book, An Nasiha. Benefit from those treaties, from the good that they contain. And the encouragement that Ahl Sunnah needs to cooperate. Because we don't need, I think no one, even those people who tend to have an inclination towards extremism and attacking their brother and the honors of their brothers and sisters, that even those people would agree that we don't need more splitting. I think they would agree to that. The Ahl Sunnah is in need of coming together for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala based on Kitabillah wa Sunnatul Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And on that, Ahabit Fillah, we'll stop there and we'll continue in the next sitting uh, and hopefully finish this very short advice from Shaykh Sultan Al Eid, Hafizullah Ta'ala. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us on this beautiful day of Eid because here we are. Eid, uh, Yomu Eid, uh, Eid al uh, Fitr 2014, Ramadan 1435, Hijri, that we are here on a blessed day. So, what better advice could we have than to cooperate between one another based on Kitabi Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the Madhab of the Salaf of this Ummah, wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ala Nabiya Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.